We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so humid you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. While we're on this subject, anyone seen my airplane glue or whipped cream? The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Midway Mutants battle. The Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL game day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, three. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hot, hot one, hot two. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. Third down and eight. First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Trying to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Ten pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. What are you supposed to do to get rid of him again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, nice hit. And 
It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. First and ten. Now well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Three. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Brains would win. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Explosive this week. He meant it literally. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, I love this dirty trick. V5 Fofum, stomp him into the ground, and it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Thread. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. The defense called a stick and got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. down and forever. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. 
finishing his dad was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. They're going for two points. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. That never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The brutal hit. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port of John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot to catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and six. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. 
punt returners in this league have a life Boom! And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down, and, well, good luck. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. The cornerback has had enough and caused a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. down and the punter is warming up oh great catch and that's a touchdown touchdown Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Two minutes left in the half. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I don't have so much money. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. And that's the last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop? sure who he was throwing to on that play. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Three. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? The 
They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nicely done. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. <laughs> First and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's 
First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Three. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Hot, hot one. Catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down in. Well, hot, good luck. Hot one. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And the defense recovers the ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 10. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker died on that play. Yeah, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. But it was just a regular knuckles. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Well, here comes the punting unit. 
You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. Huh? The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Floyd Ray, because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Rainbow. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. for that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he runs it for four yards. And it's first and ten. Second down and nine. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot three. down and six that's the end of the third quarter and look folks I'll be honest I don't see a chance in hell here it might be time to change the channel I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP first down and six he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage so is that cheerleader Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Whenever a player gets big like this, reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Philadelphia, good Oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from priming the ref and killing the quarterback or actually playing some D? And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right up. 
out for a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. since they can't rest their players. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called set straight through the uprights. <laughs> They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. The Bob's Way Dirty Trick is always good for an easy kill. Field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Well, if you don't like kickers, you'll like their backups even less. Here we go. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. simple game when it comes down to it. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stumpsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy the... Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot one, eight. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> well, this 
shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. You ever get hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one. Second down in a very long. is too high or his push-up count is too low. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... And he breaks a... Oh! <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, not a ground screw's going to come out and pick him up. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Uh, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. What is this, 80s wrestling? The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three.
this guy is going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. The Atlanta Vultures win this one. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stance are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation.